Hello everyone, I'm Diego Egensacker, a mechatronics engineer at Forza Laser, and today, we are going to learn how to correctly cut galvanized steel with a laser machine. A frequent question from our clients is, what is the maximum cutting thickness for galvanized steel with a 1,500, 3,000, or 6,000 watts machine? And also, which gas is ideal for cutting? Today, we are going to answer these questions and we are going to see, with examples, the quality of the cut with each thickness. First, we need to understand well what this material is about. Galvanized steel. In fact, galvanized comes from the word of its founder, Luigi Galvani, who invented this process. This physicist and doctor was the one who proved with his experiments that one metal can be coated with another as long as the metal with a greater charge is deposited over the one with the lesser charge. This discovery would mark the beginning of galvanizing. Although it has been more than 250 years since it was discovered, it is still used a lot to protect steel from corrosion. Basically, what galvanizing does is that it prevents this process from occurring, protecting the steel that is inside the galvanized coating. Basically, galvanizing is a zinc layer that protects the steel. There are three most common types of galvanizing that we find in the industry. The first is hot dip galvanizing. Basically, this process submerges the piece we want to galvanize into a zinc tank at 450 degrees Celsius. This is the process that, in fact, protects the piece the most because the zinc layer is generally thicker than the other processes. Secondly, we have cold galvanizing, also known as electroplating. This particular method uses a chemical effect to effectively adhere the zinc to the piece we want to galvanize. And lastly, we have electro-galvanizing, which basically uses an electrical effect to place a fine, thin layer of zinc on the steel. Generally, this is the type of galvanizing that we commonly buy when we go to purchase a metal sheet because it is the galvanizing that has the thinnest and most uniform layer of all. Well, this is super important to understand because the frequent question we always get is, what is the maximum cutting thickness for galvanized material? And the answer, frankly, isn't that simple since it really depends on the actual thickness of the galvanized layer. Generally, if we're working with a thinner galvanized layer, the laser will react in a much better way when it comes to the cutting process itself. Now, zinc is a material that not only protects the steel but also helps to prevent corrosion. However, this material also has the distinct characteristic of reflecting the laser beam. That's precisely why, when we have a thicker galvanized layer, the laser will quite obviously have to work significantly harder to be able to cut the material in an adequate and effective way. Today, we are going to cut all thicknesses from 0.7 millimeters up to 4 millimeters, and we are going to be seeing the effect it has on each of these thicknesses. We are going to work with a G90 galvanized steel. The G90 has 90 ounces per square foot. This is the amount of grams or amount of material of the zinc that it has on the surface of the steel. So let's see what the effect is, what the quality of the cut is on a Forza Raptor 1500 machine. Let's get started. This is the design we are going to be cutting in our examples. It is a hummingbird with many details. We are going to scale it depending on the material's thickness. Since the finer the thickness, the more details I will be able to generate. So let's start with this 40 millimeters piece in a 0.4 millimeters thickness to be able to see the quality of detail we can make at this thickness. What a spectacular finish to be able to see the details 
we will need a magnifying glass and obviously the cut came out burr free. We already have the first for cuts in 0 0.4, 0 0.7, 0 0.9, and 1.1 millimeters. This piece already measures 110 millimeters in height, and here we can already see the details of the hummingbird. We truly obtain perfect results using nitrogen with a 1,500 watts machine up to 1.1 millimeters. We are going to test another for thicknesses up to 4 millimeters and find out if the machine cuts with perfect details up to this thickness.
Here we already have the other for pieces. We worked with 1.5, 2, 3, and 4 millimeter. I want you to see this beautiful piece, which is the same pattern we have it in times smaller in 0 0.4 millimeters. This is what our Forza Raptor 1500 watts machine can cut. Here, we must take something into account. At these thicknesses, it is a bit complicated to get a perfectly clean cut on the edges. I want you to come closer. Well, it's not that the burr comes out excessively, but precisely due to the zinc layer. And the thickness of the cut, we already have small appearances of little balls, which, well, can be removed with a small sandpaper. But this is the result when working with for millimeters. From here, if we start to make it thicker, obviously, this appearance of little balls will appear. Here, I also want to draw your attention to the color of the cut edge on these pieces. You'll notice it's completely silver, reflecting the same hue as the galvanized steel itself. We achieve this specific look by cutting with nitrogen, while we could also cut this piece using oxygen, oxygen tends to generate excessive heat, which would likely prevent those intricate, small details from appearing as clean and precise as they are right here. Regardless, this truly is the impressive result of working with galvanized steel on a laser machine. I sincerely hope you found this demonstration both informative and enjoyable. So we are now going to bend them, because this entire guide has been specifically designed for that bending process. Here we have the pieces of galvanized steel, all cut and perfectly bent, remember. This was G90, which means it has a coating of approximately 9 ounces per square foot. I'll say goodbye with this small piece, just 40 millimeters, featuring the same design as this one here, which is 40 centimeters. I hope to see you in the next video, so don't forget to follow us to keep learning about the laser world. Bye bye.